everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Today I got a surprise in the mail, so I'm thankful for Gail Southern Living. She sent me some seeds that I requested. What it was is she had some seeds that, um, some zinnia seeds she was saving, and she said anybody that wants some zinnia seeds, they can get some zinnia seeds, and she sent me zinnia seeds in a little packet, and she, she says, I usually plant mine in the spring. Well, that's when I plan to plant mine, too, in the spring. And she wrote me a little note. I'll share the note with you. I hope you enjoy these zinnia seeds. I had a lot of them, and I still have some growing in the yard. I hope they grow beautifully in the spring. Have a blessed day. Sincerely, and it's Gail. Gail from Southern Living, Gail's Southern Living. I will put the little link in below so that everybody can find Gail. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. And it's gonna, my yard is going to be beautiful. So today's video is thankful for my seeds. And it was um, a challenge that was put out by Simple Life Reclaimed and Kimber Keto Life. And I was tagged by Mark the Arkansas woodcutter. Today was uh, a school day. Not normally. Normally I don't have the children on Monday, but my daughter had to take her oldest one to the orthodontist. So the two younger ones came here. And they had a Zoom class, which I like it when they do the Zoom class. And she had band, Paige had band today. And she says, you got to see my band teacher. He's got an, he's got a, Big old fro is what she said. And I said, an afro? And she goes, yeah. And I says, oh, they used to have a lot of those when I was in school. And his hair is really curly, and it is kind of full. And it looks good on him, though. So, And he, she asked if um, my French horn was being used, and he said that it was. He likes my French horn. It's an F horn. And it's a, he goes, the silver one? And he said, that real old one? And I said, yeah, it's a real old one. <laughs> he said he had to um, weld something on it because there was something that was, was I guess, coming apart. And so he welded it, which I thanked him for, which is great that he did. But it is. It's an F horn. I wish it was an E flat horn. When we used to have to transpose, those of you that are music people, you know what I mean when you had to transpose your music. I used to wish that I had an E, e flat. And... All you had to do was push your thumb down and it would do the transposing for you instead of having to write the notes to transpose it. So that's, and then we talked about maybe getting an owl because I saw the hawk today. That hawk, it zoomed by and then it came back and the rooster and everybody squawked and ran inside the, the chicken run. Jim was outside at the time and so I, I googled Thank goodness for Google. <laughs> I Googled to see what scares hawks. What are hawks afraid of? Well, they're afraid of owls, and they don't like crows because crows will chase them just for the fun of it. So well, they don't really like scarecrows either. And they don't like scarecrows either. So I might have to make a scarecrow. I was going to say, maybe I should go in the barn and get your dad's old coveralls and see if I can make something. Or even those little people that I made for, um, those yeah, would work. Those would I work. Made, I made little people for... Um, I'll go out and find them. It was Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. I made the dwarfs. <laughs> Except we only have six because my grand, one of my grandchildren was one of the dwarfs, so I only had six of the dwarfs but they okay. would work because they're dressed up in clothes and they they could be moved around and what you want they say to make sure you move them around because the hawks they are like observing where things are located so if it's in the same spot all the time they figure eh, that's not going to bother because it hasn't moved so you have to move them around every now and then i had um two geese in the they were ceramic geese I only have one left because one got broken. But I used to move them around the yard every periodically, and people that would drive by thought we had geese. I didn't have any geese. I just had two ceramic geese that I was moving around. So even that would make um, 
because I moved them and the, and the hawks I'll do the same thing I'll move the people around or the owl will be perched and what it is is the owl is perched like the owl would prey on chickens too but we'll put that on top of the um, enclosed run and the the hawks would see the owl and think oh the owl would try to get me too so they'll stay away so we're hoping that we'll try that also shiny things that that make motion as long as you move them about you got to move them but I don't want to scare my chickens so I don't know what scares the chickens I'm gonna have to look up see what scares the chickens I know they they're afraid of owls probably mm. and they're probably afraid of um, maybe they'd be afraid of my little people I don't know but after a while I think they'd get used to them being in there because they're mm. used to me I could always put chicken food by them <laughs> make them think yeah. that they're getting fed by those little people <laughs> or something like that well and um, today with with um, um, because I googled but my my grandson Kyle he was looking up his words he had to do definitions and they said to the teacher said to use a dictionary or if you don't have a dictionary you can Google the definition and then write a sentence and I said no no we have a dictionary so you're going to use a dictionary well it's taken him a little bit to figure out how you use a dictionary kids don't use dictionaries anymore apparently they just Google it's everything. It's a lost art. Yeah that is and encyclopedias I don't think they'd know how to use an encyclopedia I, my encyclopedias are pretty old, so the information, unless it's old stuff they're looking up, it's going to be old. But if it's current news, we used to have the um, yearbooks of the current news, but I don't have those anymore. I, mine, is, mine is probably in the 80s the last time I got one of those, so it's pretty old now. Well, that is it for today. My nose is itching, so I'm going to have to say goodbye so I can itch my nose. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.